Alright, so I've been asked a little bit about my setup, so I thought I'd make a little video. Um, this is it. Uh, I have a lot more plants out the front, but these are my hydroponics, which I use for sources. So uh, we have red habaneros, quite a few of them. Probably time to be harvesting soon. Um, <coughs> Yellow Marugas, hottest yellow chili in the world, got a few of those as well. And they're all a uh, little basic hydroponic setup, which is just a bucket um, full of nutrients and water and little air pumps. They pump a little bit of air, air around. Uh, the jalapeno I've only just moved in here. I just want to get a bit more fruit out of that one because uh, I eat those like lollies. Um, the hydroponics obviously are a lot a lot bigger plants, a lot more productive, so they are brilliant for, for what I'm using them for. Also, they don't attract bugs like soil plants do, so I don't have to worry about any pesticides. I've got one plant there in the soil, I just didn't want to really rip it out, it was so big. Um, but that's sort of pretty much just sacrificial now. If I do get any bugs in here, the greenhouse is pretty tight anyway, but if I do get any bugs in here, uh, they kind of go for that plant. And I've got a little um, fly trap there, Venus fly trap to kill the flies. Get a few flies in here sometimes just when I leave the door open. Uh, they don't really cause a problem with the fruit, but um, they, I'm just worried about them cross pollinating my plants, so let's try and get rid of them. I'm going to try and keep my plants pure. Uh, we have a red butcher lochia here, a ghost chili. Uh, it's got quite a bit on it too. Time to Harvest that bad boy soon. And over here we have the yellow butchilo gear. I just can't get enough of this guy. He's used in quite a few of the sauces. Um, they're all the popular yellow ones. Um, so we need a bit more fruit to come out on him. Uh, <coughs> over here we have uh, chocolate habanero. So I haven't tried one of these yet, but he looks yummy. And the red maruga, the hottest chili in the world at the moment, over 2 million Scoville units, which is apparently equivalent to US pepper spray. Um, so it's pretty hot. And we have another yellow butcher loco here, which I've just moved in. Uh, he's only little at the moment, just hiding in there because there's no bloody room for him. And I'm hoping to get a bit more fruit off him. Uh, the red seven pot in the background there, hidden away. Some nice big fruit on that. It's also used for some of our hot red sauces. Um, and over here in the back we have chocolate butcher lake gear. I'm going to do some funky things with him so no think we've started to get a bit of fruit. I might make a spicy peanut butter and a chili satay sauce or something out of that. And, uh, so that's about it. It's quite small but I get a lot of fruit out of it. Um, planning to very soon have another tunnel about twice the size of this so we'll get another twice as many plants again in that one ready for next summer we'll be able to keep up with demand on the sources